Be a damn shame if we took a hammer. sad news uh, I'll post a picture of what this board looked like before I had to make a bunch of modifications right about there because these little guys that I had plugged in and I made special little boards for out of uh, perf board, vera board uh, I, I made special little sockets these little hoodies and these were OPA 827 IC chips and they're not cheap each one of those were like 10 bucks uh, I didn't pay for them I'll be honest they came from some sample parts that I had however I still wanted to utilize them and make them worth you know their worth uh, however shit happens circuits uh, things happen in circuits sometimes when you're building stuff and then this happens I'm not sure if I can it's you can't really see it. It's charred. It's baked. It's done. <laughs> uh, you can't read the top anymore. You know why? Because a flame came out of it. A flame. An absolute 100% flame came out of that part. And this is the weirdest thing because I was working on this circuit and I could not understand how the hell that's even possible because yes I'm feeding it 30 volts rail to rail you know uh, positive 15 negative 15 zero volts uh, I don't know if it touched something on my workbench now, you know sometimes yeah I'm like look around like I have little metal clippings don't do that guys if you ever work on projects on a workbench make sure to pick this shit up because I have a good feeling that maybe something touched underneath here when I was building this and that's what made it go up in flames uh, but needless to say I had to redesign an entire part of this circuit with a chip I'm not really happy about using right now I'm using an OPA 2134 now as my input uh, op amp for these transformers and it's a, it's a dual op amp I was originally using in these single op amps so I had to take literally had to remove two sockets out of here remove all the components all the wires around it yeah what a cluster right uh, so whew, hell of a thing 